Predicting a 3D scene graph involves object segmentation, classification, and relationship prediction. Previous methods either estimating the scene graph step by step, or assuming some procedures have been done. Our method can estimate a scene graph end to end when the scene is being reconstructed. Given paired color and depth images, they are processed with an incremental segmentation method. The method outputs a consistent segment map. Each segment is a node which consists of points and other properties such as centroid and size. Whenever two segments are close, we construct an edge between them to form a neighbor graph. Our network takes the segment and the neighbor graph as the input and outputs a 3D scene graph. The prediction is then fused back to the scene. Let's look in detail at the scene graph prediction network and the fusion steps. Our network takes segment points and edge descriptors as the input. An edge descriptor is computed by using the relative properties of its connected two segments. The inputs are encoded separately to latent features. The features are passed to a graph neural network. Our GNN includes both segment and edge features in the message passing stack. The enhanced features are used for scene graph prediction. The design of our network overcomes the issues of changing size and shape of the input segments by including the relative information from the neighbors with the graph neural network. However, training a GNN on an incrementally reconstructed scene is a challenging task since the number of segments and edges increases when more observations are given. We propose a novel attention method that estimates a weight distribution across feature dimension. When a new segment appears, it only affects part of the final feature. This makes our network less sensitive and more robust to missing information. Let's move to the fusion part. Our method predicts a scene graph on the segment level. This allows us to store the probability distribution on all classes without suffering from memory issues. To fuse the predictions, we simply apply a weighted rounding mean on the segments and edges. Next, we will talk about how we maintain runtime efficiency and obtain object instances. In scene reconstruction, new observations will only affect the visible regions, while the unseen parts will remain the same. In runtime, we only update the prediction on the segments that has been changed. In addition, when we update a segment, we improve its neighbors up to the number of hub neighbors we use in our network. This makes our local prediction global aware. Moreover, we store intermediate features on each segment and edge. When no shape changes happen on a segment, we can reuse the features to save computation power. Finally, we obtain object instances by merging segments with same part relationship. This brings the prediction from segment level to object level. Now, we demonstrate the prediction process of our method on an indoor scene. Our method incrementally estimates a scene graph of the scene. It can be seen that some segments are wrongly classified at the beginning, when not enough information is given. After giving more information, their predictions are updated to the correct label. We use this simple relationship to merge segments to object instances. Our method output a 3D scene graph that can be presented in both segment and object level. The object level scene graph also gives us the panoptic segmentation of the scene. Our method outperforms previous methods in the task of scene graph prediction and have unpowered results in the task of panoptic segmentation and have acceptable results in the task of semantic segmentation while having the fastest runtime performance. We also did extensive experiments to evaluate each design of our method, including the attention method, graph update skin, fusion, the same part relationship, and edge constraint. For more information, please check our paper and website. Thank you for listening.